Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. And why Louis C.K. got a pass from the elites for as long as he did. I'm joined here by Raymond Arroyo. He's a lead anchor of EWTN News and in New York, conservative columnist and best-selling author, old friend of mine, Ann Coulter. Great to see both of you. Uh, and let's start with you. Everyone that I know who's familiar with the comedic world knew about Harvey Weinstein and they knew about this uh, Louis C.K. Is this surprising to you that they covered for him for this long? That isn't surprising. What is actually the most surprising to me, I almost don't want to point out how many of, of the creepy sexual predators that are being outed right now are self-righteous liberals because, um, I, I mean, I'm more offended at what they've done to women than, than, than their politics, but the, the feminists and all of this, you know, concern for sexual harassment for such a long time has been sort of a, um, a single-edged sword. It was, it was something that would only be deployed against conservatives and Republicans. And so, I got to say, I'm really heartened that it's the left going after the left here, and they actually do care about sexual harassment um, and sexual predation. I mean, this is a lot more than harassment. Rape has been alleged, obviously, in Harvey Weinstein's case. Oh, wow, what a surprise. They actually do care about rape and the dignity of women, because I got to say, for 20 years, there was very little evidence of that. It seemed to be deployed in a very political way, as, for example, against your boss, Clarence Thomas, which I didn't oh, no. believe, and the country. Yeah. Think of what believe, they said about but... him and what's being what's being alleged here, Raymond. I want to talk about the work of these oh. uh, these artists, as they're called. The connection between what they produce in the entertainment community and the conduct they're accused well, of. Anyone who's seen even casually Louis C.K.'s act or Louis C.K.'s act knows. These things are routinely part of the act, exposing yourself. You we heard the something. bit about, about child molestation. Why that's funny in any way, I don't know. Yeah. But this pernicious nastiness, it normalizes this behavior. And the more you hear it, the more people who have this disposition or are perverts hear this and go, oh, well, I'm not alone. This is really cruel. And in this case, we're hearing about these women who've come forward. Yeah. He exposed himself to them. He did unspeakable things that I'm not going to get into now. But he only was a pervert and acted and, and had misdeeds with one or two of these women. But in his work, he was perverted to millions of people. Let's, let's play and, this and scene. That's, that's the double sin in my world. Right. Let's play this scene, uh, Ann and Raymond. This is a rape scene oh. in his show that was on FX for years. Let's watch. Mm. What are you coming over? Look, no, no, it's okay. I just. Okay. Well, okay. bye now. Okay, I'm on. No, bye, I'm bye, on. bye now. Okay, I'm on. I really, just want to. I'm really late for not being in here right now. We're not. We're gonna play the whole thing. I watched this earlier, and I, I am blissfully unaware <laughs> of the man's uh, performances. Lucky. And I, I, I never found him funny. I found him to be a slob. He's obviously a leftist. That's not that's not his real sense. But the, that what we just saw and it goes on and on and on. They're just watching it. It seems it, the word degenerate really needs to be brought back into the vernacular <laughs> right. because it's just p a pure degenerate. Pure pure. We're going to get into the Roy Moore issue as well because there's another allegation of, of from a long time ago. But but Anne, when you watch that and you think of all the things that we see, whether on billboards, uh, in music lyrics, the ho word, the n word. The, I mean, this is a this is a depravity that crosses almost every cultural uh, 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 product and the entire landscape in different ways. But everyone's like, "Oh, isn't this funny? This is so edgy," as the uh, correspondence uh, chairman of the dinner said. Yes, um, I I had not seen. Um that scene. It's kind of surprising, and I think the New York Times pointed this out in their article today. It's kind of surprising that it's so on the nose. I mean, he does a, a lot of him masturbating um, in these shows. You, you'd think you'd stay away from that if that's what you're actually doing off camera. Um, but I do find, I mean, between Harvey Weinstein and, and Louis C.K., this 
this desire to force people to watch you masturbate to pointlessly. Um, I mean, other than the Republican Congress, I've never heard of this as being an attractive pursuit in life. Well, uh, mm. Raymond, uh, there is another clip that we have to play from Barack Obama. Mm. And John Stewart also, but let's hear from Barack Obama what, what he thinks of this talent. I think uh, Louis is terrific. Uh -huh. uh, oh boy, he just made his life. No, no, he I, just made his I life. Mean, he, 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 he's he's wonderful in in a such a self-deprecating, but yeah, but edgy kind of uh -huh. way. I mean, I, uh -huh. I and. Uh, and and basically good-hearted, even when he's saying stuff that's pretty, yeah, you know, wrong, wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I had not seen that before until mm. until today, Raymond. That was after the retard comment about right. Sarah Palin. He apologized for some of that stuff, but then he said other horrible stuff and about after Palin. The show with these outrageous scenes where he's what? inflicting himself upon a woman, talking about the masturbation. But this is the left. They claim to be for women and children, but women and children are objectified. But why is this funny? And why is this funny in any in any way, shape, or form? And I want to get into the the deal with Roy Moore because this broke as well today. He's the Senate candidate. He's the you know he was uh, he he bested Luther Strange in that in that uh, Jeff Sessions seat runoff. Uh, he is a Christian conservative. He's a firebrand, former uh, Supreme Court judge in, in Alabama. And now this allegation comes uh, 38, 39 years uh, ago that he ha had an encounter, a sexual encounter with a 14 year old girl. Uh, he claims this is a hit job. This is the, the, you know, the Clinton machine or someone smearing him. What is your take on this at this point in this story? Well, I, I guess I'd like to hear his response more than just that it's fake news. I think we ought to give him 24 or 48 hours to, to respond and see where it goes. I mean, I'm sort of frustrated all around with that Alabama primary. What was the matter with Mo Brooks? Oh, he's that's, been who in I, the, that's who I liked. Yeah, me too. We, I we both Mo endorsed Brooks. him. Yeah, he was been in the in the House all this time. He's he's fantastic on immigration, the one issue that matters. Why did it have to be between, you know, establishmentarian Luther Strange, um, who will, you know, open borders, or or Roy Moore? So I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated from the beginning on that. Um, as for if you haven't read the Washington Post article um, to the viewers, they will be talking about how there are all these women coming forward. No, there's one. There is one allegation um, of a woman. I mean, yes, he dated girls who were 17, 19 when he was 30. We might find that a little creepy today, but this was nearly 50 years ago. Um, the one serious allegation is a, a, a woman, for, or at the time, she was 14 years old, who, who claims, you know, actual molestation. Um, but... The, and who knows? I'd like to. I'd like to see yeah, we'll what see. his response is. But the t you can't help thinking about the timing here, Laura. Yeah, I mean, well, he's, he, he's been big news a, he's in He's been Alabama. out in the public eye for a long time, man. I mean, and Draymond and running you know, for the last Senate. The, the, I mean, yeah, all right. I would say is he has denied all these allegations yeah. so far. If any of them prove to be true, oh, no. he's got to step it, it, aside. It, it, just like uh, he's, he's going to be on the ticket. Goodbye. But he's yeah, he has to step aside. But he but his can't name's on the ballot. because his name's on the on the ballot, and so they're going to have to just write in someone, right? Or uh, that's well, the or, reason the media I've, loves this story is he's or, or a hypocrite. Not. If this is true, he's yeah, a hypocrite. Of he is. In the in the if case the of case. Louis C.K., forget he's just hypocrite. He's a creep. What they and what <laughs> I say, forget hypocrite. He's he's a creep. Um, mm -hmm. And well, as for if it's a truth, he was a predator. If it's true, only one time. Right, right, right. If, if, if it's, it's true, true, he's a predator. Um, who cares about the hypocrisy thing? But um, also, who cares about what what the rules and law are, laws are for right. when a Republican can replace him? No, I'm sorry. The Democrats replaced Robert Torricelli when he was running for Senate, not because they found out anything new about him. He was the same person he had always been, but because his poll numbers were down. <laughs> it was past <laughs> the time they could legally yeah. replace him. So no, 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 no. I All think right. they should, if this turns out to be true, they should replace him with Mo Brooks. Oh, well, Mo Brooks. Uh, that's, a guy, that's a guy I endorsed, and he didn't go anywhere after the uh, runoff. And I appreciate it. Raymond, thank you so much. Thank you. And still ahead, after eight years of dismissing.